Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a new kid on the workbench about to get started. Already cut all the pieces off the trees. That's just how I do it. Not a new kid exactly, but it is a new one to me. It's a 69 Hurst Olds. And this one is with the 455. I built one before, not Hurst, but the uh, 442. And I think it was the same year model as this car. Um, did a video on that one as well turned out really really nice this one um, again was supplied to me by my friend Mark over at Hobby Nut Models go check them out link in the description but this was one that it was one of the new old stock um, kits not one that he would typically typically carry but one that he had acquired and uh, it's pretty cool he puts these kits on there but anyway nevertheless this is the one that I'm about to build and I, I'll be honest with you guys. I, th I think I'm an AMT guy. I don't know what it is. You'll find more flash. The parts are a little bit harder to fit sometimes than your Ravel kits. But I just, when I was a kid, I loved AMT kits. My buddy was a Ravel guy and I liked AMT. I also liked Monogram, but I've always been an AMT guy and the ease of building the Ravel kits is great, and but I don't know, something nostalgic to me about an AMT uh, kit, I guess, brings back memories from when I was a kid. But anyway, I like building AMT kits, and I was I was glad to get this one and get started on it. But like I say, you ha there's a little more cleanup on them, but this kit, if it builds like the 442 that I built, is going to be a great build. And uh, one cool thing about this, if you were to build a... Uh, a car that was blown up the heads are off or something this is one of those that gives you the the uh the engine has the, you can see where the lifters push rods and all would be it's got the cylinders are are open and it's got also got the the heads are detailed with the valve train so that's pretty cool if you wanted to build it that way i'm not going to i'm going to try my best to make it look exactly like the box it's got great decals i will have to match uh, the gold somehow or another with the wheels but this is going to be a, a cool kit I guess I could just black wash the wheels but I think I'm going to try and paint them I don't know it might turn out to be a mess maybe better just to black wash them then they look great when you do but nevertheless oh by the way guys if you hadn't already subscribed hey I'd appreciate it if you go over there and hit the subscribe button thank you for helping me grow this channel I'm having a lot of fun with it so anyway I'm going to get some of these parts glued together on the chassis do some painting, get some prepping done, clean up some flash, which to be honest with you, it's not too bad on this kit, although it is a re-release by round two. This is from 2012, if I haven't already said that. Um, but this is going to be a nice build, and I'm glad you're along with me to, to check it out. So stand by, I'm going to get some parts glued together. Hey guys, real quick, I was going to show you something um, of how I do, do some things. First of all, um, I got the body it's ready for some primer. I went ahead and done, I probably made a mistake, but the rear wing, I hate having to try and super glue something on a paint job. So I thought maybe there's enough clearance because there's a decal that goes on the rear. And if I wet this good enough, I should be able to slide the decal under the, the, the uh, rear spoiler. And um, another thing I mentioned is, or uh, I noticed is this, this section here is the same gold color as the decals, but they don't send that as a decal. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll be able to match that paint or not, but anyway. So yeah, this is ready for some primer. And I wanted to show you one thing, reason for this segment. Sometimes it, it is a lot easier, in, in my personal opinion, to, to assemble the the chassis, uh, all the running gear that you can, and then paint it. It just makes life easier. But sometimes because of the exhaust, and you want your exhaust, unless you just want to paint it black too, and you can, but I like my exhaust to be, if it's a new car like this, and this is going to be a new car, I want it to look new, the exhaust. Well, these exhausts wrap around the axle, 
so to get them in there and then paint them I, I see guys do that i see them do all that and then they go in there and try to paint the exhaust i don't like doing that i've done it but i don't like doing it so what i do and with this instance this has coil over springs obviously the shocks and all but instead of getting in there and then making uh mistakes with your super glue and it smokes it up down there and so you know what i do is I go ahead and assemble the rear axle, put it in place, and I get my, I want to show you what I do. I go ahead and assemble it with the springs and the shocks. I don't glue it to the chassis. I set everything in place and glue everything to the axle. So then I'll paint the axle separate. And when it's time to uh, put the exhaust and everything in, my shocks, my springs, and everything is already assembled. So you can just, you only have to glue these points. You don't have to try to fit it after the paint job is completed and things like that. It just goes right in. I mean, look, bam, there it is. So try that if you have problems with that. Um, if you want to keep your exhaust nice and clean and, and painted silver or whatever color, go ahead and uh, attach your your uh, your springs or what, whether it be leaf springs or coilovers or whatever. You can go ahead and glue those in place as long as you're not gluing it to the chassis. And then you can just paint that individually and just bam, look, it just literally it just falls into place. There it is. So with that said, I'm going to get some primer on this body. On this, I'm going to finish installing the parts of the engine that I'm going to get primer on. And um, there's not a lot of parts to this kit. It's kind of a low parts count. Maybe that's another reason I like AMT kits. They're quicker. Not that I want to rush through a kit. But it just they Ravel have high they have high parts count they have high quality they have high detail they have high parts count and um, when you're trying to make videos those long builds can sometimes rob you of, of views and things and that's not what it's all about but I want to build a quality kit but then I want it to be you know I want to be able to do it as quickly as possible with my limited time schedule I work a full time job I'm a dad uh, of four four kids well one one's married and gone but three that live at home so i have time to spend with them i have a um, i'm a i'm married so i also have a wife that i need to spend time with so this i have find this is my spare time this is not my full time um, i come out here and i spend a few hours tops a few hours in the evenings but usually it's probably about 30 minutes or so so i want a kit that is good quality but yet builds in a fairly rapid sense. So that's I think that's another reason I like AMT. But anyway, I'm gonna get some paint on these parts. Stand by. All right, so I've got my paint, my, excuse me, my body's painted. I primed it in white. I've done some um, 1500 grit sanding to uh, finish up the prep, but it's ready to paint. I've already got my white paint mixed. Got it right here. Tester's white. Right there, gloss white. That's what I use. Tester's. So got it mixed up. Going to shoot some paint on it. Got the hood prepped and ready to go. So it's looking good. So I'm going to turn my vacuum on and I'm going to play some music and we're going to paint. Stand by.
Hey guys, you know that I've mentioned, well, you may not know, but I've mentioned on other videos that I have an egg incubator that I use to cure my paint. And I wanted to show that to you real quick. Um, so it's just an old cheap egg, incub egg incubator that I'm not incubating eggs with it. So I take out the inside where you put the eggs and uh, just it has a fan and it heats. So I run it at like, you know, this is a the set temperatures, that's Celsius, whatever. Um, so yeah, and it keeps a it keeps a steady temperature on my it, down in South Georgia we're very humid. So because it's so humid, I need a way to help cure the paint and this works pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but you can get one of these for like I mean, this thing was almost worn out when I started doing this, but because I incubated a bunch of eggs, but somewhere probably in the neighborhood of uh, 60 bucks, 50, 60 bucks, if you just wanted it for that. And then it's got, like I say, it's got the temperature. You can set it and it heats. It doesn't get real hot, but you know, get, it'll get near 100 degrees if you set it all the way to the as high as it'll go. And again, it's just, I just put a little piece of cardboard in the bottom, but. Here's the body with the paint that looks looks really really good and uh, a little fan blows down got a little heater in there and i'll leave it in there a day or so and it will get cured and the paint will be nice and hard so you don't threat putting fingerprints in it after two or three days down here because of the humidity you'll get uh you'll get fingerprints a few days afterwards so this helps a lot anyway just want to show you that all right so got a little progress done here Guys, this paint turned out just wonderful. It did. It just turned out wonderful. I, I'm so, um, so, so pleased with the finish. Um, I mean, it just turned out great. So I used, instead of, um, I usually use, and I don't know if this made a difference or not, but it does appear to have made a difference. Usually I use um, automotive reducer when um, painting my cars. I'll mix the testers. I just take a bottle of uh, bottle of testers paint, which I, I love to use this stuff. It works good. This is like gloss dark red. So I'll take a bottle of that, mix it, and then cut it with um, <clears throat> medium reducer, automotive medium reduce, reducer. And they've turned out pretty decent, but... Um, I just recently uh, met a met a met a fellow. We were at Hobby Lobby, and I was talking to him. And he's a longtime car modeler. He just joined our uh, Facebook group, actually. Um, he told me that he uses lacquer thinner to uh, to to do his reducing with that, and he says it just it leaves such a smooth, glossy shine. And so I said, well, I I did that, got the mixture from him, and I did that. And let me tell you what. He's right. Slick as glass and just so shiny and nice. Hood turned the it just turned out great. So thank you for that tip. Got the wheels painted. They look great. They do. Um I'm, I'm uh, round two does a really good job with their, their tires that they send with the kits. The uh, white lettered tires and all they look really, really good. Anyway, that I painted the rims. So one dilemma that I'm I'm in right now is, do you see the gold stripe at the bottom? And I mentioned this already, but this gold stripe at the bottom is not supplied to you in the decal sheet. Why would they do that? Why didn't they give you the bottom? That's what I want to know. So I have mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed to try and match this paint. These wheels do not match. This paint does not match. It's close. It's close enough because it's far enough away on the wheels. But I cannot get a paint color that I can match the decals to paint that bottom stripe. And I, I'm very disappointed that I, I can't. I'm just not good at mixing paint. I've already wasted two bottles. Two bottles here. Um, some gold. And I mixed and mixed and mixed and added and added and added. And I come up with you know this color here and i was just putting it on the inside to see what it would look like these colors here but they don't match at all 
the uh, I can't. I just can't do it. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are like excellent at mixing paints. I can't get a grasp on it um, to actually end up with the color that I need. So it, it may end up just not getting that stripe down there. However, I am going to bare metal foil um, all the the uh, all this stuff. Now, I do have a kit that just like this one. Let's see if you can see it right here, the 442. And I just used a, uh, I think it was just a Sharpie. It turned out okay, but I want to do, I want to use, um, I'm on bare metal foil, this kit. It's going to be pretty tricky because this line of, of chrome is going to be so small, but I, I think I can do it. And it's going to look good. So I'm going to have that. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> the panel lines, I'm going to uh, definitely use the panel line. Uh, accent color on those to give it a distinction to try and um, take your mind off of man there's not a bottom gold stripe on this thing because I'm going to apply the decals hopefully those things go on good I'm not the best at doing decals I'll be the first to admit that decals are like my my crutch or I don't know if that's the right analogy or not they're not good when it comes to me putting on decals I, I struggle with them especially those really long ones like like that the whole length of the car nearly so anyway just wanted to give you an update on this thing um got the engine painted um i will obviously paint the um transmission the proper color and the exhaust manifolds i wanted to go ahead and get the manifolds on it though i didn't want to try and glue them on later so i'll go in there and touch uh paint those get the transmission painted uh sprayed this thing black before i painted the red so it would have a, a natural shading and it did it did really well Got the breather painted. Um, the breather on this car should have had a big foam um, riser that comes up off there and it would have sealed to the hood for this type of Ram Air hood. It doesn't have that, so the breather is not going to be exactly like it should be as far as uh, an original car. I looked at all the parts and I'm like, there's just nothing in there that, that, that is for that. I don't know if I could make something like that on my own. I'm not sure yet. I haven't tried. I'm not super crafty when it comes to that stuff, but, um, it's coming along and this, like I say, low parts count. This kit is a quick kit to build. If you're interested, if you can find one of these 19, this is a 2012 release of, of this. And this is what a cool car too. Um, when I was, a little younger i always thought these these seven uh late 60s and 70s those uh, uh these uh those mobiles were ugly but now man i'd love to have one i think they're awesome um my how your your uh your taste changes over time some people it's foods and uh they didn't like broccoli now they do i personally really really like to have a 1969 olds um, especially with the 455 and I used to think those things were hideous, but what, what was I thinking? Anyway, rambling. Sorry about that. Um, this kit's really nice has turned out the, the parts are, are, are really, really sharp and, and great. And it's going to be a really good looking kit. Um, hopefully the decals again apply. Well, I do think they will. Um, and yeah, this is, this is turning out nice. Unfortunately, I can't get the bottom stripe unless I try if I maybe I'll waste another bottle of a uh, of paint with another go of it But I don't think it's going to have the bottom stripe go because I don't want to put a, a, the bottom stripe Right below the top stripe and it's a totally different color. You know what I mean the wheels uh, I can live with the wheels being a little different. I couldn't live with that stripe being that much different though. So anyway guys this is part one, <clears throat> excuse me. I will um, break this into two parts, so it won't be so long. So this is part one. When we come back, I'll get some bare metal foil on the uh, on the body, um, get some decals laid on it, windows in it, all the stuff that goes along with building a model car, get the uh, plug wires ran on that awesome 455. And they were awesome. I, I think uh the 455 was a really cool one. which so oldsmobile and i think buick made a 455 so you had two different 455s and that's cool but anyway i remember really quick story yeah i know i'm rambling again really quick story when i was let's see i was probably oh 
uh, let's, uh, without making this lasting longer, let's say I was, I was six years old. We just moved to our, our, to a different town. Uh, somehow my dad got a Oldsmobile. <clears throat> I forget what, what it was, but it was, a, it was, it was around this. It was like a 1970 or something like that. It was ragged out. It was my aunt's old car. And somehow he ended up with it for a short time, but it had the 455 and we would take it out. We lived on a long dirt road, but he would take me and my brother out and uh, he would do burnouts in that thing. And uh, boy, it would do a burnout. It was worn out and it would do a major smoky burnout. I remember chucking on smoke as a kid, but that was a lot of fun. Brings back memories. Anyway, part one in the books. Going to come back. Part two. Going to finish this thing up. It's going to be cool. This is a really cool kit. When I saw this at Hobby Nut Models, <clears throat> I said, I want that one. Now, he's got all kinds of kits, but I saw that one and I was like, that's a car I would like to have. And that's why I got it. Got a few other ones from Mark also. Guys, if you haven't already, go over, check out Hobby Nut Models. Um, check out the inventory over there. Mark's got a great inventory. Um, link in the description. Thank you for uh, mark for this kit also if you haven't already joined our facebook group go over join our facebook group and um it's having we're having a lot of fun there um join show us your your work in progress show us your let, let's talk about your problems like me mixing paint i need to get on there and say does anyone know the proper formula that i can mix this darn color right here because <clears throat> i need some help but anyway that's kind of stuff it's just it's really fun a lot of guys joined and um, many more continue to join. So thanks guys for coming over to uh, Model Car Videos Facebook group. Again, link in the description. And we will um, continue this on part two. Sorry I ramble so long. I don't have anybody to talk to about this stuff. <laughs> so I just share it all with you guys. You have to listen to it. No, you can fast forward. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for, for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already all those things i know I'm, i repeat myself so many times but thank you so much for you guys that have subscribed you've bumped me over three thousand subscribers and um and that means a lot to me so thank you so much be back in a few days for uh for part two and this this dude's gonna be looking awesome so you guys take care we'll see you later bye